In prior sections, we created and then tested the entry order logic for our scalper algo. In this video, we will capture the price and quantity of our entry fill, which will be used to define our exit order. In this section, we will talk about the difference between continuous and discrete messages, we'll use ADL's formula editor, and we'll also use ADL's math blocks to perform calculations. Our scalper algo will generate one order to enter into a position and then create a second order to exit that position at a profit. So far, we have our entry order defined. To begin defining our exit order, we need to extract information about the fills completed with our entry order. We will do this using the entry order block's fills output port, which emits what is called a discrete message. Information passed between blocks in ADL are referred to as messages. ADL uses two different types of messages, continuous messages and discrete messages. A continuous message provides data continuously, whereas a discrete message is sent at a specific point in time and is triggered by an event. So far, our algo has only used continuous messages. Our instrument block provides a continuous input of instrument data. Our best bid field block provides a continuous feed of the instrument's best bid. The number block provides a continuous input of five. The fills message emitted from the fills discrete message output port emits a discrete message. For each fill that occurs in the execution of the order, the fills port will send a single fill message containing details about the fill. These details are stored as fields within the discrete message and are accessed using the discrete message blocks. We want to calculate our total fills, which we will use as our exit order quantity, and we want to calculate average open price, which we will use in the calculation of our exit order price. We will start by adding a value accumulator block, which keeps a running total of a specified piece of data. We will use this to calculate our value at risk by having it accumulate a total of our fill quantities multiplied by our fill prices. We connect our value accumulator block to the fills discrete message output port. In the block properties panel, we will give it a name of VAR and can see that we have a value called formula. We click edit to launch ADL's formula editor. The formula editor lets us write formulas to perform calculations, access the output of other blocks, as well as specific fields within discrete messages. Referencing the guide above, we can see that the hash key is used to access discrete message fields. After we type a hash, we are given a dropdown with available fields and can select fill quantity. We then type a star for multiplication and can type hash again to access the fill price field. We then click save. To see this block in action, let's test our logic. Let's change our entry quantity to 50 to make our value at risk accumulation a little easier to see. We click play to begin executing our algo in sim. Our algo submits a 50 lot order at the best bid, and we see 50 in the working quantity port of our entry order block. As our fills are executed, we see our working order quantity decrease and our value at risk totals begin to accumulate. Once we are satisfied with our test, let's change our default quantity back to five and then click the back icon to reset our algo. To calculate the average open price as well as define our exit quantity, we also need to accumulate our fill quantities. We will add another value accumulator block and give it a name of fill quantity and then open our formula editor. We'll again type hash to access the fill quantity field. Since this is the only value we want our block to accumulate values for, we can simply click save. Finally, we'll add one of our math blocks, divide, to calculate our average open price. Math blocks, as the name suggests, perform mathematical operations and therefore only have red numeric input and output ports. We are dividing our value at risk by our total entry fills. So our value at risk goes into the top port of the divide block and our quantity is connected to the bottom port. Note that we are using the red numeric output ports of these blocks. The discrete message output ports output the fills message itself, allowing the fills message to pass through the block to any downstream blocks we may connect. Again, we can click play to see our algo in simulation. As you can see, our formulas are performing as expected and our average open price is updated as new fills occur. In this video, we talked about the difference between continuous and discrete messages. Continuous messages provide an ongoing stream of data, whereas discrete messages are triggered by an event, happen at a specific point in time, and store data in fields. We used ADL's formula editor to extract information from discrete messages and perform calculations with those values. And we also used ADL's math blocks to perform calculations. Now that we have extracted the information we need from our entry order, we will define the rest of our exit order parameters.